On today's podcast, once again, we're going to be answering the question, what are the OSHA color codes? So stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. If you're a seasoned vodcast viewer, this vodcast is going to be different from most that you watch. It's based around exactly what the name implies, Warehouse Safety Tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money, so each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now, with all that out of the way, let's get to the vodcast. A few episodes ago, we discussed what are the OSHA color codes, specifically yellow and red. Now, once again, if you're not aware of what OSHA is, we covered it a few weeks ago on episode 115, What Does OSHA Stand For?, It's an acronym that represents the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. As a refresher, the colors that we previously covered were yellow for caution and red for danger. Today, we're going to be covering two more of the OSHA color codes, blue and orange. If you're a viewer of this podcast, you already know this, but we always like to remind you. We like to keep things very short and to the point for time purposes. We provide a general and high level look at the topics at hand, but almost all of our topics can and should be looked into much deeper. With that said, here are our next two OSHA color codes. Blue isn't quite as recognizable outside of settings where OSHA guidelines are in place, so we'll cover it first. In these OSHA related areas, when you see the color blue, it's generally related to indicating where specific areas and items are. An example of this would be first aid areas. Orange makes its way outside of OSHA guidelines. When you see the color orange, it's an indication of a warning. Think in terms of hunting clothing or construction signs on the highway. This color should immediately have you paying attention. For more information on all of OSHA's color codes, visit OSHA.gov and search color codes. We look forward to seeing you next week for another Warehouse Safety Tips. Until then, have a great week and stay safe. Before moving on, here's a word from one of our sponsors. If you've ever been to or worked in a warehouse, you know just how important safety is to both management and staff. It's almost impossible to go 10 steps without seeing safety tape, angles, signs, and or safety products. It's these items that show us how to be safe and avoid danger in the workplace. And if you're looking for the best products to make this happen, look no further than Mighty Line. Mighty Line floor signs and floor markings offer the best industrial products out there. We're proud to have Mighty Line as the official floor sign and floor marking company for the Warehouse Safety Tips podcast and site. Go to MightyLineTape.com forward slash safety tips to request a sample pack of their incredible safety signs and floor markings. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. If you visit WarehouseSafetyTips.com, you'll find the show notes for this episode and access to all of our blog posts, previous podcasts, advertiser information, and much more. Thank you for listening to Warehouse Safety Tips and have a safe day.